covid 19 infection occurs mainly through the respiratory route so it occurs through droplets so an infected person uh, will shed the virus through secretions it could be nasal secretions or uh, through oral secretions so the secretions come out say when we breathe so normally we may think that okay when we are normally breathing there is nothing coming out of the nose but if we hold a mirror near our nose we will see that the mirror will become uh, uh, cloudy you can see the moisture coming out there so even when we breathe there are small tiny droplets uh, coming out of the nose and when we sneeze of course this is a very forceful uh, coming out of uh, these droplets and then when we cough also these droplets come out and even when we speak uh, so the transmission happens mainly through droplets coming out uh, through the respiratory tract either through the nose or through the oral cavity and that's why uh, the recommendation is that you have to keep a distance now why this distance of uh, Six, six feet or, or two meter distance that you need to keep. So this is because we know how much, how far these droplets can travel. So the droplets coming out of uh, say sneezing or uh, while talking loudly or coughing may reach uh, may not reach up to six feet. That's what it was thought. But now there is more and more evidence coming that probably under certain circumstances. Now, when these droplets reach the atmosphere, then these droplets undergo change. So they may become smaller depending upon your operation, uh, which again depends on the environmental conditions, the moisture in the environment. See, in an air-conditioned environment, uh, it may become smaller and uh, travel longer distance. So now it is thought that some amount of transmission also occurs through aerosols. Now these aerosols are created while sneezing or even uh, or talking. And another type of aerosol that is generated is uh, in toilets. Now this coronavirus uh, also infects uh, our gastrointestinal tract and uh, the infected persons uh, uh, have diarrhea. And when an infected person goes to a toilet and flushes, then there are aerosols created. So the early in this uh, pandemic, it was realized, particularly in some countries, uh, that um, when there, there are people together closely and people have used toilet, there are, they have avoided other types of contact, but they have used common toilet, then the transmission has occurred. So aerosol generation can happen there also. So that's why the advice is that okay you avoid air conditioned rooms because uh, the droplets may remain suspended for a longer period of time aerosolization may take place keep the windows open so when even when you go by vehicles uh, keep the windshield down that's why the advice and uh, there have been some studies also in uh, united states they studied schools uh, even in the United States, even in a rich country like United States, there are different types of schools. So some schools are uh, very high profile, so they are well uh, equipped, uh, they have good infrastructure. And um, if there are some schools, uh, even in the United States, with the infrastructure is not so good. So they had poor uh, uh, air conditioning, they had uh, open windows. So they noticed that the transmission, more uh, children were infected in well uh, uh, infrastructure schools compared to uh, schools which had uh, lower infrastructure, broken windows. So this again shows that there is a possibility of uh, transmission through aerosols in a closed uh, environment. So the infection occurs mainly through the respiratory tract and uh, from one person to another person through these droplets and once a person gets infection so the infection again reaches through the into the our uh, respiratory system that's why the hand hygiene recommendation is mainly because uh, droplets may fall on surfaces it may fall on doorknobs or on table or on uh, fomites and uh, so on our linen so the, the droplets may you may touch these droplets and then 
if you touch your uh, mouth or nose then you can uh, take the infection so it can the infection occurs mainly through uh, this and also uh, infection can get into the eye also that's why the face shields are also recommended so if you are in contact uh, the face shield can protect you to some extent because masks are not covering the eyes so you need some protection for the eyes so you can get infection through the nose or mouth or through the eyes 